controversial subjects with the facts can be tense. But we are a sub science here to make things make sense. I have to Analingus. laugh. <laughs> okay, so you have to laugh. I do have I, to laugh. So nice giggle, giggle. Sometimes <laughs> when we pick these topics, I'm like, are we really like just gonna sit here for half an hour, forty five minutes, just talking about eating ass? Are you kidding? I was enthralled on this <laughs> research. I was actually obsessed. Time was flying by. I was like, wow, this is like my. Calling. I don't know what it was. I was just like, okay, no, I'm definitely down to talk about it, but it's just a weird life when that's like part of our job. Well, it's like so we were like working and doing research on it. You know what I mean? Like that was my day today. Oh <laughs> my God. It's so funny. The history of eating ass. Cause I'm like, you're Catholic. And it's like, oh, uh, it really is the Christianity people who made this all bad. Is it? Yeah, like, well, okay. This is, I went real deep. I was really oh into my it. God, okay. So there's like these like a lot of like Peruvian like ancient cultures where they went and looked at a lot of the artifacts and like it's all people just like sexually like literally just like going ham on the ass there's barely <laughs> any <laughs> vaginal intercourse imagery it's like ass like an <laughs> ass play which is like sex is an important part of life and culture and animals was like so heavily like involved in that specific society okay. and then they trace the concept of it being taboo or something that's not right through Christianity and sodomy like it's like, that's the reason why maybe now a lot of people are like, ass play. Ah. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I, I, I interesting? As I was looking around, I did read that. Yeah, there are. It's not always culturally taboo. I didn't read enough into the history to know that it's specifically Christianity. Yeah. I would imagine well, I mean, that's like, a lot of other religions yeah. also. But they are. were like, but they were the one that had like the word sodomy and really like, and also it's like Christianity took over sure. the goddamn world. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I had read that there are like old paintings and images of like anal sex and stuff as well like yeah egyptians and stuff doing that <laughs> they also showed some of the like peruvian artifacts and it was like actually amazing i was like they were fucking you know what I, mean? I was like i was like that is just crazy like i sometimes forget that like when you go back in time people were still horny as f yeah like i kind of thought horniness was now because of like tiktok and porn <laughs> and you know what porn. i mean but it's like no actually they were maybe more horny to eat ass because they wouldn't even have porn that's true they had no other like release I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. I haven't actually thought about like a 3,000 year old person. Like being person. so freaking turned on by someone's ass. But that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Well, it makes you know sense what? now. They ought to make some Netflix show that's about like people living 3,000 years ago. I like, <laughs> didn't they? Wasn't Just it like... called like Troy or like, there's always those like <laughs> sexy like Spartan shows. Are there? Yeah, there's a like, really like TV shows. Yeah, there's a famous... and they're like teen dramas. Like I kind of want a teen drama oh. that's like that's like Neanderthals and, and Homo sapiens. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Watches <laughs> young <laughs> royals ones. Okay, so and they're anal... all gay. <laughs> they're all gay. Well, yeah, every Neanderthal was gay, but more on that later. <laughs> and that's also not true, but in my head it is. So analingus, it's the Latin term anil, which is anal, and lingus is to lick. Okay, licking anus. anus. So. When it comes to anal porn, viewership has gone up 120% in porn on Pornhub from 2009 to 2015. Just like the word anal or like associated with Associated with sex. anal porn. Okay. So this isn't just about like eating right. ass be or tossing like mine salad. as well. Yeah. But there's like some research like Pornhub, hum, hum, Pornhub numbers to say that maybe we're all getting a little more comfortable and into the asshole mm. region. Okay. Which as gay men, it's like, well, that's awesome. It's kind of one of the only holes we got to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes girls will come up to me and be like, oh my God, like I did it in the ass. Like this big deal. I'm like, I've been doing that since I was 17. <laughs> that's all I've had. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that crazy, is it? Because that that's means everything so you've, I've done, you think it's crazy. <laughs> it is really, like I understand like gay people are a minority <laughs> and um, that a lot of people are not used to that, but it is just like so part of like our, our culture. Life. I'm like, it's all I got. And huh? all of our friends, it's like not even something to talk about, but you're right that there's yeah. like this stereotype of <laughs> a straight girl uh, being like, or straight oh, guy my, or straight guy. But I'm saying like in our case, cause we like don't have straight friends other than <laughs> girls. <laughs> it's like a straight girl being like, Oh my God, he wants to like, give me anal. And you're like, yeah, I've never, yeah. I always just kind of play the role. And I'm like, Oh really? Like that's <gasps> okay. Like it's like, wow, it's a big deal. But then it is like, wait, it's not. A I'm big deal. literally <laughs> always like, okay, well like, are you f like, like I have a genuine conversation, but I'm always like make the joke where I'm like, also, by the way, that's like all I've been allowed, like able to do like other than <laughs> blow someone and get blown. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've tried it in the nostril and the ear, and it was too tight. Oh, okay. my God, Greg. <laughs> okay. A lot. Oh, I was just going to say that I have a handful of stats around, like, how many people do it today. Oh, okay. Hit me. Talking Hit me. about, uh, so, 14% of heterosexual 
heterosexual couples report having anal sex. Okay. 30% say that's analingus, uh, that they do analingus. This is heterosexual couples, people who are okay. already together. Then it said one third of women report having engaged in um, heterosexual anal. Most of the studies that I was seeing were all just like about heterosexuals. And then half of adults under 45 had had anal sex. Sex and not analingus, case. but the analingus was thirty percent. So the analingus, I was noticing this on a lot of surveys. Which yes, we're always on hetero people. Welcome to science. But also, <laughs> weirdly, a lot of these surveys were like paid for by like Esquire magazine. Wait, stuff. really? <laughs> yeah, like I was like on like valid journal articles, but there'd be this like disclaimer <laughs> of like where the money came from, and it was like so Esquire could obviously write an article. I don't really know what Esquire. It's is. like GQ. It's okay. like a men's. It's like so, okay. they're they they literally paid. For people to do surveys about sex so they could probably sell magazines with like titles that were like okay. this many men think this i feel so confused and so stupid so please don't judge me but there's like wasn't there a commercial where people used to be like mitchell moffitt esquire greg brown esquire like are we talking about the same thing i have no idea what you're talking about i'm gonna look up esquire because i'm like doesn't that word mean something else you've never seen that commercial no but i'm es- like I'm like, was Esquire. that was it them talking about Esquire Wait, magazine? No, well, like, no, but they were like professionals who had like done something. Okay, Esquire is what does what? What is it saying? You're right. Esquire is an American men's magazine. Okay, currently published in the United States by Hearst Communication, it has more than twenty international editions. Okay, but what does Esquire mean? So you're saying there's <laughs> there's a an nod what where someone's is? like, I'm Sandy. Esquire. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Esquire is usually a courtesy title. In the United Kingdom, Esquire historically was a title of respect accorded to men of higher social rank, particularly members of the landed gentry above the rank of gentlemen and below the rank of knight. So at Wait, the, but then what are you saying? There was an ad where people were like, I'm okay. a knight. <laughs> no, it must have been a modern, like, accreditation program. No, like, look, it says a title appended to a lawyer's surname. Oh, so maybe it's so lawyers. a lawyer. Okay, I was reading the... Oh other, my God, no. Mitch. Well, well, I'm like, your answer's right there. Okay, Greg, right. right. I was reading the noble rank version. No, but of- I'm like... <laughs> I'm way more interested in I the noble you were rank. I interested in history. No, yeah. I'm I'm more interested in the noble rank. I'm just laughing as like I'm okay. We are. This is side note, but Mitch like is so good at technology. He is so smart, but he actually like can't use Google. Like he can't. No. Google. Okay. No. No. It's, no. No. Mitch. No, not Mitch. True. No, it is fully pause. true. I'll it's be true it's though, crazy. Anything, but no one knows how to Google text stuff, and I okay. Always I, okay. That. Fine. Fine. <laughs> well, he can Google like how to fix a stuff, computer, but all. All the Google stuff that you listener right now or watcher right now have ever used Google for, it's like he it's insane. I'll be like, I don't know, like maybe you could just I don't know, look up like a Korean restaurant near us. And he's like, Well, what? Like, so I type in what? Korean restaurant Pennsylvania? And I'm like, No, no you what? You I'm like, you could also, you know, Google Maps is the first thing and you just scan or like it's just like you sometimes it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. So anyways, even now I'm like, you went and looked at the weird part of the Google page. I'm like, the answer's right there. <laughs> well, I thought that that Wikipedia was probably where the word came from. No, I love I honestly think that's uh. so much more interesting. I just like can't believe you're about to give up and be like, well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm like, no, it's a lawyer's surname. <laughs> oh and you watch a lawyer ad. Anyways, that's, that's really interesting. Esquire. And so it's like, the magazine is just like a, a, a high ranked title. It's like cancel Esquire. Like you class this title. <laughs> oh, true. It's literally like, oh, it's just for the men who are better than the Pavo <laughs> But not quite as good as knights. <laughs> yeah, but we're not quite knights. No, we're not GQ. Those are for knights. <laughs> but anyways, Esquire literally is where this information was paid for. Got it. And they found it was only 500 men. Again, not the best study. That 12% of those 500 men said they secretly wished they were having their asses eaten. And they weren't. Say it again, because all I could think is I could secretly wish they were Esquire. Like, that's <laughs> all I could think. <laughs> they wanted so bad to be Esquires, but they were just peasants. No, they, and were, they weren't even nice. Let's say this stat one more time. They, <laughs> 12% of these <laughs> Esquire men, oh, no, stop not quite knights, word. not quite peasants, secretly wanted to have their ass eaten. But Just they weren't, in general. and they were straight, and they wow. weren't getting, and I was like, sad, sad, yeah, sad. Yeah. Like, let the, let the girl eat the booty like groceries. Yes. I, I know, and I feel like it's another thing, too, when, okay, so we do have, like, maybe a couple straight friends that are boys, but, or, no, like, we do, we straight do. guys, we do. And they have their butts licked. That's what I'm saying, and it's, like, it's so interesting when a guy brings it to you, because that you can tell they're confident, because then they're just like, well, I got that. There's, like, straight guys who are okay yeah, talking about that. and that's hot. That. Yeah. And it's hot to girls. You know what I mean? Like, if you're a straight guy who secretly wants to ask, like, and you're too scared to do it, yeah. just do it, and know who's going to be turned 
Don, thine girl. Well, here's what I'll I say. And it, it should all be consensual. We should all be talking. Oh. Don't force your girlfriends to your ass. <laughs> no. Consent. Consent first. Woo, consent first. I think, though, there is still a lot of stigma, especially in, like, more conservative areas or, or religious groups. Like, I think it would make you more attractive to, like, a progressive alternative girl. Mm-hmm. But, like, if you, like, live in... I don't know Georgia yeah, or something you're right. like you're and you like ask a girl that you're dating to your ass she might be like that's not she, gonna make she might be like her. you're a faggot <laughs> yeah you know I, what I mean like exactly. that's the issue that's with culture. my own bias to like yeah, the bible no, belt but I think no, it's that's pretty very accurate. biased no that's very biased we don't know you Georgia we don't know you we don't know you but I'm glad you said that because in peach, my head they certainly love yeah, a good peach yeah they just eat your, eat his Georgia peach <laughs> but like I think that's a really good point because in my head, I was like, every girl will think it's hot <laughs> to eat your ass. And it's like, no, Greg, like, that's a lie. Because it is intense. Like, especially if you're not used to it. Or- okay, so now we bring in the science. Okay. The pudendal nerve, my friend. The what? It's sad that poo's in the name. I know. I was actually really sad. <laughs> that's so bad. I know. The pudendal nerve. Actually, like, nerve. I don't say anything right, as we know from earlier. It's the pudendal nerve pudendal. from now on. From now well, on. is it spelt P-U-D- No, it's P-U-D-E-N-D-A-L. Oh, yeah. Pudendal. Pudendal, yeah. Like, I was, like, like picturing P-U- yeah. P O O P poop dental. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Imagine it's like the poopy poopity pendle nerve. <laughs> okay, so the pendle nerve is this like big, like main nerve in your anus. Well, first of all, your anus has a Vagus lot nerve. Have yeah, one another one. Yeah, but that's that's up here, babe. Oh, no, that's it goes all the way down to your anus. Oh, it does go to your anus. I'm sorry. Wow, it's like connects all the way through. Yeah, neuron into your stomach. <laughs> neuron fight. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but um, so this. <laughs> Okay, for, like, first of all, think about sex. Nerve endings, hot, okay? Tips of our clitorises, our penises, our anus, tons of nerve endings. So straight up there, it's like, that's one of the reasons. But the specific nerve is like the main reason why I think it feels good because it attaches to your genitals in both men and women. So it's mm. a way of stimulating your genitals in a different way neurologically to have your ass eaten. So it's like, huh. there is a physiological reason why, like through history and even now, it's like, Sorry, hun. Like, let's talk about it. Like, it feels good. You like it. I like it. Do you mean through <laughs> through the nerves they're connected, or yeah. like through physically, like also through muscular? Uh, it's the well, or... nerves and muscles are like linked, but the whole point is that like I just didn't know if it's because it's like so close or if it's no, like it's a, nerve. It's okay, through it's through cool. nerves, but they're the nerves are affecting are like, muscles to like contract and yeah, not contract. Okay. That's what by stimulate. It's like muscles are involved. Got it. But the nerves is the part where you look at the body and you can use anatomy really easily on humans to be like, whoa, okay. Mm. That makes sense when we look at what feels good during sex. Like it physiologically feels good. You know what I mean? Like that's a good thing to know Mm because it's like people do have weird feelings about it. Like why would I? It's like, oh, well, there is, there's this reason. Mm. But what's also really weird about sex research and science about these things is it's like, what, it's like, okay, I have a question for you. What are the sexiest and most unsexy parts of the body for you because they were kind of arguing like these nerves make sense but we can't as scientists ever say that anything is sexy or not because it's so linked to like right. culture and like there's fetishes and there's just like they were just like this makes sense from neurons but this right. isn't to say this is like, like better than being for. foot turned on even though there's right. not a neuron going from there yeah true like people have sexual connections to parts of their body that maybe aren't tied through like these same exact yeah nerves. you know yeah. how like science articles yeah. are written they have to like do caveats yeah it was one that was interesting to but me, you I was know like, I saw someone point out and I thought this was interesting and maybe this is where you're leading. So many people find asses attractive. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> we're also in the age of ass. Like when we were growing up, like every girl would have these like insane titties on like the, on like, do you know what I mean? I'm like, but now it's uh, like, it's oh, you ass. mean like in media, like in it, media, like I this is for like those straight boys. Boobs listening. were like very popular. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it has shifted. We, and it's like, of course, always we've loved asses, but we are in the <laughs> ass time right, right now. Like TikTok is like ass forward. Oh, yeah, for Don't sure. But think? I mean, we are on gay TikTok. No, but dumpy. Like, everyone's like a dumpy. Oh, true. Or like, no one ever that is cake. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, whereas back in the day, they'd be like, they'd be like, the, the jugs, the oh, sack, yeah, there like, was, the sick jugs. Oh, my God. We're in the age of all the, uh, like the evolution. I know. <laughs> I just said exactly like, exactly. We're like, in the ass, age man. of ass. Like, just send that. No, in the way that there's, like, literally five million words for boobs. You know how there's, like, yeah. so many? And I'm like, are we, like, just discovering and developing even more for ass? For ass. <laughs> the dumpy. Like, honestly, the dump truck. Like, that is what, like, kids say now. They're like, they like, we got to eat that cake. Look at that cake. <laughs> My boy got cake. Whereas when we grew up, it was like, they got the honk knockers. They got the jug hooters. <laughs> oh my God. Right? You went a little far back. That sounds more like this. I don't know. The 70s. Okay. Well then what do you call tits? I love tits. 
That's a great one. Like just names. The for tits, them. even like as kids, people would yeah, say tits. People would say tits. I was Honk just like, knockers. knockers sounds like you're from <laughs> 1930s. Like, no. she's got a good set of knockers. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I feel like like kids would be like, yeah. look at her jugs. They'd yeah. be like, their jugs are jiggling and bouncing, bouncing. And they weren't oh talking about their asses <laughs> as much. Oh, you're right. Yeah. There so was we're no in other the, words. We're yeah. in the age of ass. Yes, so eat them. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, so that nerve explains why it can be really good. Oh no, I wanted you to answer my question, which oh, was sorry. what are the hottest parts of body and for least me? hottest parts of body for you? In Jen. Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I have okay. So like actually let me think because I don't even know if I have. Okay, so least attractive, it can be either or. Sorry, what I mean is if you have bad feet that will be a turnoff to me okay but i can find them really attractive as well if you have good like nice feet <laughs> okay true you know what i mean true. like oh my me, god <laughs> i feel be, bad i don't want to like no, body no, shame like, anybody. can i like be vulnerable right now it's like yeah like i was gonna say the least attractive is feet and it's like i'm like because yeah like my feet are always dirty <laughs> 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 or like you know what i mean i'm like when i look at my feet i'm like ew but then you're right sometimes like i'm like i'm just in one of those people i'm like i don't take care of my feet maybe you're just like literally bringing up me but <laughs> like I, this was me being no like, so but, i have a really hard time <laughs> 30 feet <laughs> but when i do take care of my feet i'm always like damn okay and greg you have like at least cute feet like they might be dirty like in that you actually like should just like clean oh, yeah, them yeah. More. That's but so like nice. the shape of them is not yeah. so some people have like really intense feet um okay true. and i again i don't want to go too much into it because i don't want to body okay shame anyone. okay it's just personal okay. preference i i agree like my thought when i asked this and then realized i had to answer myself was going to say feet as okay. least attractive but it's interesting because you're right sometimes you see a good foot and you're like oh boy let's go <laughs> yeah and and another one that is like weirdly not you like i thinking of teeth as well like mm. these are not areas that i find sexual though like yeah. i would say like oh my the- god teeth is such a an an- good answer i'm always like get that out i don't want to feel them while making out oh wait do you want to feel them while eating ass <laughs> oh wow okay we'll go uh, uh, i do <laughs> whoa isn't that hard I mean, like, I'm not, I don't mean, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Like, you can't, like, get a <laughs> bite of it unless you get no, it on your ass like cheek. so funny, actually. I'm like, <laughs> nice. This is when I'm like, I swear to God if my mom did not turn this off. Um, okay, like, I'm literally going to jump out that window. So, like, it's interesting. I, I, I didn't try to Teeth is a great answer, I think. Okay, yeah, we can get to teeth on butt. But um, I think, the but those aren't things that I find, like, like, the first things I'll find really attractive are maybe, like, like a nice butt with clothes on though. For some reason I'm like, I don't need super like skin butt, but when I see someone has a Whoa. big butt and they're like and in they're gym in, shorts oh or my dog God. pants, that I'm like, yeah. that's really attractive you know to what? me. That's because we're in the age of ass. I bet that, like literally five years ago, you You're right. Said that. Well, I, and I've, I agree. When I see an ass sometimes, I'm like, whoa. Like a good butt. butt. And, and it might be because now I like work out that I won't, like I'm like, can my butt get bigger? And then I look at other people's butt and I'm like, wow, that's a really nice butt. Over clothes is so interesting. I literally, when you were like, when you were like, a butt with like clothes on I was like I'm getting hard and then when you were like I don't like skin butt I was like I'm getting soft it's like I like yeah. a butt in underwear and like no it's like also like girls so hot nicest butts and now they're like in these like compression pants mm-hmm. and it's literally so hot like it's just like girls like work out sometimes and I'm like oh I know they're girls wearing have really nice butt yeah so, and I mean, they're like, wearing like obviously. that stuff that I'm like I can just see it all it's crazy mm-hmm. and some guys do it too and it's like whoa that's hot too and <laughs> yeah. like you also got like a package on the front like yeah i know i always find that either like really confident or really douchey when a guy yeah. wears that it depends what they look like in their vibe yeah because i'm like are you an, like, <laughs> imagine he took off his Olympics. headphones and was like listening to like an esther perel podcast we'd be like wow like, <laughs> i always picture them just like blasting <laughs> like like, <laughs> like yeah like nickelback or something. yeah uh, okay, where do we want to pick up from here? So you asked. Oh, me I want you to ask something. me what my favorite. Uh, oh yeah, I thought I was, you kind of said you were like, <laughs> oh yeah, teeth. You just kept popping. <laughs> no, th- I did not say teeth. I was just on. I changed the subject to eating ass with teeth. Okay. Obviously, I'm not like my hottest part of a person's body is their teeth. You'd be like, <laughs> so you're what is it? A psychopath. I like pecs okay. and abs too. I like everything to be honest. Okay, Noah. Growing up was also the age of ab. And I don't like abs now. Not that I don't like them, but I remember once like seeing Justin Timberlake's abs and being like, oh my God, I'm a cum. Oh. Whereas now, like when I see someone's abs, I'm not like, I'm like, well, weird. There's like six looks like a That's true, of actually. I guess you're right. I don't really feel I like love pecs. Sexual. Yeah. I love breasts. <laughs> I love women's breasts and I love asses. But okay, no, those are all like, those are all the ones we know. What I was thinking of like the answer for not is like noses. 
<laughs> oh, like I've never. Oh yeah, like, like no one's been like turned on by. Yeah, names. not no one. But like, no one. They like even when they rub, like and sometimes like kissing face, and sometimes we'll like I'll yeah. like end up kissing a nose, or and like they'll like, kiss not... my nose, and I'm like, no, it's not like Christmas yeah, like because kissing an ear is sexual, like it's kissing hot. a nose is weird. See, ear is hot, weirdly. Uh, yeah. Why because is ear hot? Because you can hear it, and it's kind of gross. Sometimes I think things that are hotter also, and this relates to eating yeah, ass or anal sex, is like, that there's kind of a, a taboo around it, and that can make it also sexual for people. Okay, one of these articles, that last one, when they were talking like specifically about the nerves and like sex and culture, mm-hmm. they said that sometimes, like this ob- not obsession, but this sexual interest in ears in the places that maybe are like feet, if you're like me and don't yeah. clean them, like okay. places that are right. more taboo is a way of showing your deep passion for you, wanting to uh, touch all of them. That sense. Even like <laughs> armpits, people have like armpit yeah. fetishes and that's kind of like a smelly area. Usually, yeah. But it is like, it makes sense that you like also have to trust someone to let them go to that area. To go to that area. Like somewhere so that you would normally the, not want yeah. a random person to like smell your armpit. But like. isn't isn't that interesting? Because now, like in science, things when they have to try and defend their what they did as like a neurology study with a discussion where they introduce culture, mm-hmm. and you're like, I'm, obviously mm. they're not saying that's a truth about the right. world, but it's an interesting insight that a science person wrote that yeah. I was like, they're like, or maybe sex is about showing your deep desire for all of someone, mm-hmm. and by therefore touching and being into all of it even the parts that the person might be like self-conscious about is a sign of like attraction yeah it's like that's really interesting that's cool a nice yeah. little like yeah and eating ass Discussion. is definitely part of that <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, uh okay like because we're like 20 minutes we in. need to get into like the risks and, yeah i was like i feel like we've been having a gay old time talking about yeah. eating ass but like to talk about it's a serious should, thing <laughs> like also acknowledge <laughs> that there are some risks that can be yes. minimized yeah and obviously there are truly millions of people on this planet yeah. that eat ass and aren't like dropping dead. And but- we are a weird podcast that started with just the obvious obsession with eating ass. <laughs> and now we're getting to like, I just feel like it's so interesting. Every other science podcast would be like eating ass, <laughs> like bacteria, like, blah, blah, blah. We all know blah, the blah, feces blah. comes out. Yeah. The feces. Anus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. be like, and we know feces can carry bacteria <laughs> and <laughs> virus <laughs> and Parasite even. And like you might be looking at other people and thinking about eating their ass and being repulsed. <laughs> well, disgust is quite interesting if yeah. we bring up to the smell of feces. But is there a way we might not all die <laughs> if we eat ass? <laughs> like, could should you and your wife be eating ass? <laughs> it's like, whoa, wait. That's pretty heteronormative because we invented it. Okay. Uh, I feel like probably the Greeks did. I mean, they were all gay, right? Yeah, that's science. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, welcome back to Side Note. So, obviously, okay, now we're going to say those same things we just said, but with a serious voice. It's yeah. like, yes, your feces <laughs> comes out of your anus. And your feces does have a lot of bacteria that can cause disease. And viruses. <laughs> and literally can have, it was like, oh, here's a reason to go vegetarian. It said, you can have internal parasites come out your butt, especially if you eat undercooked meat. Oh, there you God. go. Better to eat ass if you're a vegetarian. If you're a vegetarian or vegan. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need a dental. Minus dam on like that. the amount of farts that vegetarians and vegans. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, then like, you get a little puff sure. of the cheeks. So you have to blow them in their face. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh no! Is that no. is that like is my cancel? No. Not canceled. Just like I don't think anybody <laughs> wanted to hear that. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So. so like this. So and also sort of like mouth. <laughs> to that area can then later transmit things to like a urethra or to the yeah. vagina. like you know what i mean like it could go to someone else's mouth like there's there was risks. okay there like i read a case study about five men who had this like weird disease on their penis that was like a red rash and it would go away with um antibiotics but they couldn't know what it was from and their best guess was a specific bacteria that <laughs> okay it's like after you've eaten someone's ass and then you blow them a guy yeah. and it's, it was in this case it was men men on okay. men msm in science male M- sex with men S-M. they always put that like they do oh, msm yeah, yeah, yeah. as Sorry, like, they say like gay and i was like that's a chatting no like it's me. funny because like they always have to differentiate gay in science but like every time there's hetero things they don't say like heterosex <laughs> but like for it's like msm they all were doing msm okay. and the bacteria from the ass that you just ate after you blow them, that bacteria Could goes go into down. urethra yeah. and it That's is a coli, specific, be, right? Sorry, this wasn't E. coli. I'm saying this okay. was a case study of a separate bacteria oh, right. that yeah. was gone from someone eating ass to blowing right. and the ass wasn't clean. 
That's the important. So part. what I was just I, I mentioned, Nicole, because that is that one of the more happen. common concerns that it can oh. cause a UTI. Oh, UTI. Yes, yeah. I also read that. So mm-hmm. that's when you have E. coli coming from eating ass to a then blow job. I don't know if UTIs are only caused by E. coli. Like, I don't know that because I think you know it's get caused it by from, other. Yeah. Yeah. But E. coli okay. can cause a UTI yeah. wow. uh, in your urethra. So um, also Giardia lambia. I know someone I will not name names who got Giardia lambia, which is, <laughs> which is the parasite I got. <laughs> oh, when I was in Costa Rica. Rica. What? You weren't talking about yourself. No, it wasn't myself. I did not get Giardia Lambia from eating ass. Oh, from eating But I ass. know someone who did. Oh, okay. I thought you were just like talking like, about Giardia Lambia. Like, so, like, sometimes you hang out <laughs> with gay guys and they talk about the time they got Giardia Lambia from eating ass. And that is, to me, funny. And <laughs> some people might think that. As someone who's been through Giardia Lambia because they drank bad water in Costa Rica that actually, know what? It was just the feces of like an animal. That and I also to clarify, we were like, yeah, in the middle of like rainforest. It oh, wasn't just like Costa was Rican tap water. Absolutely. Like I was like actually so dehydrated. We were on this we insane from a stream. hike. It was like, it was like what, like 13 kilometers in a rainforest looking at the most incredible animals. But there were times where I was like, I'm actually going to die. Greg, it was, how much did you say? 13 kilometers? Like that's not very far at all. Wait, how many kilometers was it? <laughs> we walked for Eight to nine hours straight. Yeah, each day. Yeah, I know, but how many kilometers? I do you- probably like in an hour would walk six, seven, eight kilometers or something like that. Don't you think? Oh my god! Whoa. Okay. Yeah, like that's if I'm walking fast. So we went. That on- might be an exaggeration. Maybe like six or my, seven. But I was talking about that one Tom, day. So times eight. In I was one talking day. about the one day. It was like the eight. But multiply so that's like 50 no yeah you're right because we did day after day after day and this was on the last day anyways i was dehydrated no i'm trying to explain how i got a specific infection yes and it was very interesting because i lost like crazy weight i didn't know what we were like it's because he's a vegan we would (laughs) just gone vegan i was like wow really butchers the ability to like not look sick and and i would always be like wow that Toilet is yeah. really dirty from grass. There was not much ass <laughs> eating at that time. In fact, if you ate my ass, I might have got it. Anyways, Giardia lambia can be passed this way. Hep A, Hep B, Shigella. These are all like things that can literally, obviously you can consume in your mouth from eating literally feces if it's not clean. And that can make you sick. So we can't like ignore that when we talk about yeah. uh-huh. eating ass. Also, like, so it's Campylobacter. Campylobacter is the name of the bacteria that makes you have food poisoning. Okay. And they have found that like it's obviously in uncooked chicken and Mm -hmm. it's in like unpasteurized milk, but it also can be in your feces. And in Denmark, they found that men having sex with men were five times more likely than straight men to be getting food poisoning. And everyone was like, oh, that damn food gave me food poisoning. (laughs) But it's like all these gay guys being like, wow, did you get food poisoning? Everyone's like, I got food poisoning. But it's actually, we were all just eating each other's asses. That's why they call it eating ass. (laughs) Ass. Literally, I was like, oh, no, I actually got food poisoning. Yeah, from eating your ass is the Campylobacter bacteria. So again, clean it. Use a dental dam, if you will. It's really fun, but you've got to be clean you gotta do yeah and sadly there also are like more rates of like oral and throat cancer in people who give more yeah well even so there were some studies on just analingus but even just oral sex in general i think it's like they believe and i didn't um save any of these studies but it was like a lot about (laughs) hpv uh, in that they think that is what is being transferred a lot of people won't necessarily even show it and that is causing like way higher rates of throat cancer and stuff nowadays which is not just like that's from like oral sex on penis and vagina as well yeah it's uh, hpv is so freaking interesting oh my god we need to write that down that's an episode on hpv because in biochemistry like classes now and in a lot of like these like articles in like nature magazine i'm reading they talk about hpv all the time and they like can biologically show with diagrams and enzymes like the pathway of it causing Mm. the like problem issues with your dna to create cancer so it's like you know like sometimes like you hear these cancer things like this causes cancer and then you're actually that's just pop science hpv is very they've done it's like Like pretty incredible to learn yeah it does and it and it is a sexually transmitted thing let's do that even i want to like make an episode on that because i feel like so many people whether you get it or not it's so it's like the more common one of the more common stds that you would get yeah yeah for sti for sure that i think like a lot of people especially you know when in your young age is when you're like hooking up and stuff are aware of hpv and like gonorrhea and right? like what are the other common ones that well that's hpv is actually the most common because there's so many different strains and that it's so much and it's like 
asymptomatic and it's so interesting because there's like a vaccine hmm. like it's like it's like it's we need to make we, like we just need to make a whole thing on this i'm like freaking yeah. out because i'm like i can't even talk about it right now because i'm like it's actually right. so fascinating we'll it, yeah. and we've lived through an interesting time with it and i just remember those cell bio classes and being like this is so freaking interesting because <laughs> like at the same time like there goes my girlfriend to get her hpv vaccine and i'm like oh my god you do need to get it and then there's like weird like fucking like sex and gender involved because like why the fuck aren't we getting the vaccine as men it's like oh yeah we're like anyways fascinating <laughs> fascinating i'm like freaking out uh, on that while you're writing that down i'll just say in this one study it was like if you have had oral sex with one to five partners your risk of throat cancer doubles <laughs> oh boy <laughs> and then if you have more than five sexual partners yeah, this is in your lifetime it goes to 250 percent increase <laughs> oh shit so, i'm so scared of throat cancer because i have giant tonsils and i used to smoke weed and now i just eat it like we and we probably are and i suck it. a lot of dick. dick oh yeah. no <laughs> oh my god i suck so much dick it's like oh my god that's so funny now i know one to five i'm like <laughs> You know, like, it's, like, kind of toxic mask if a gay guy's like, I don't suck dick. Now I'm going to be like, I'm not toxic mask. I don't suck dick because I don't want throat cancer. <laughs> oh but I'll eat, your, I'll eat your goddamn ass from here for oh hours. Oh, my God. Definitely equally. that. This is this counts. I know? feel... Okay, I was going to go on to douching, but continue. Oh, no, go on to okay, that. Like, what? Because I want... The next thing would just be, like, let's Honey, talk about safety yes. and stuff. Okay, because it's, like, I love to wash my ass like you know sometimes <laughs> oh my well God. i'm gay like i'm gay i'm like who knows like it's like we live like, right. we are in a love to wash your ass like we're in, like me and Mitch are in a progressive relationship and it's like when i'm gay i'm just like i need to go ham <laughs> on washing gay. the ass because i'm like what if like a really hot construction worker comes over I'm oh like, my i don't God. know so anyways i wash my ass a lot and it's like sometimes funny because you talk to straight guys and you're like oh, i touch my ass <laughs> And you're like, yeah. ew, like, what the fuck does your ass smell like? That? Yeah, and so many gay guys are also like, you don't use soap on your ass. And it's like, what? wait, gay guys? No, straight guys. Oh straight my guys. God, like, I was yeah. like, no, Whoa. so many straight Kinky. guys. And I'm like, I feel so bad so, for straight girls. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's why they're not eating your ass and you wish for it. Maybe <laughs> you should clean it, but you really have to clean it. And the other thing is that I douche as a gay man. We have them, we bought them. Mm -hmm. And douching is a really smart thing to do. Before but, eating ass, because you know there's going to be a, even less chance of there being any bacteria. Okay, there. actually, I would maybe debate this, and I Whoa. think we should write down anal sex or douching as a literal okay, topic. Wow. And there, and if you're <laughs> listening to side note derail. No, because, all over because again. I've read that, that. No, that there, there is some research around. I'm just going to give my short <laughs> version. Douching is genius. Yeah, okay. we can. There's research that says like. um it's not that good for you physically yeah, to do it a lot. Yeah, it probably gives you, um, it probably gives and you colon there's cancer. a lot of like sex positive gay work that's like, it's not a big deal to get a little bit of feces if you're going to have anal sex. Like we don't have to stigmatize. Like even if you douche, that could still happen. There's ways to be clean and do your best, but like we shouldn't be yeah, like, that's so fair. grossed out by like a little piece yeah, of Yeah, it's like, sorry, you guys have all had like raw chicken at like a shitty restaurant or maybe your parents can't cook. Like, do you know what yeah, I mean? You know, like, real food like, poisoning. Yeah. We, we just learned it's the yeah. same thing. Yeah, <laughs> relax. A little bit of food poisoning. Also, it's also funny because it was like when they were like, gay guys have more food poisoning than eating ass because there's no medical treatment for it you're for the most part with like what's the name of the bacteria like cryobacteria or whatever you get rid of it you sorry mm -hmm. your body can fend it off so yeah. that's the other thing it's like there's all these people getting there's like kind of like joke not jokes bacteria but it's not killing anyone and your body can fight it off so there's all these gay guys like getting sick but they're not even like going to <laughs> you know what i mean like they're not tracking it well because it's right. like there's no need for medication well, fair yeah so compared like, to like an hpv or something that they would yeah yeah like. or or like gonorrhea or right. crabs or yeah. like oh what's that thing crawling on my pew yes yeah. I mean, so obviously just like simple things like washing that area, especially before sex, like just having good hygiene. Um, but you're right. Even though you said douching, is douching the same as enemas? In, like is an enema like a professional in version science, of it? Like, <laughs> in science articles, they write enema. It's so funny. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, douching is a better word. But there could be a better word. But they're both weird words. Because yeah. also I think... Enema. <laughs> and I think that... I feel like the oh douche was originally like a thing, like we a thing to like clean out a vagina, right? Well, like that's how I grew up knowing about them before I realized. Yeah, I was and gay. then I think gay men would get access oh, yeah. to female douches. Yeah, I think I have themselves. a female douche actually. I think I female think, douching yeah. is definitely not good biologically. Oh, I don't know why. Would, no, well, I'm like that's not me. Oh my god, we have to do, well douching episode coming okay, to, yeah. for both sexes. But um, I was gonna say like it was probably so taboo they wouldn't make douches for men. Yeah, right. Like exactly. the, and then, then I think gay men would have started using female douches, and maybe that's why it's called douching. And My not douche an was like so, like it was up. like it was like it was like a dove douche. Like it was like <laughs> oh it was like 
in this like gorgeous like white and pink like like for the fresh flower daisy of your vagina and i was like okay i guess that's the only douche here yeah like there isn't like the axe body spray like <laughs> yeah, <douche dinner>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the one funny. that's like, you gotta get all the it's water like, out of your douche that right. ass it's called monster douche imagine there was an axe douche oh, oh my, my god, god. one day so many more be... guys would get their ass a <laughs> there needs to be an axe Wait. It's should that, ASAP Science make should, a douche? We should ASAP Science should make a male douche because we just and it will be called an enema. <laughs> yeah, and we'll call it an enema, the ASAP enema. ASAP! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, we no, we're selling our douches. First the first we like are against merch because we're like, okay, we don't want to ruin the whole freaking world. Like that's all merch really does. Yeah. But the f- only one we know isn't going to ruin the world is. The ASAP M enema. It's literally to soon. gonna help with the spread of disease. It's gonna help with spread of disease and it's gonna help men get their buttholes eaten. Yeah, it's gonna be hyper masculine. Hyper masculine <laughs> axe body spray, ass, male douche, monster the, douche. I bet that exists for gay men, but maybe not for straight men. Like, no, I'm marketed towards. There's definitely oh. some queer <laughs> companies that have like marketing to, but they're probably not like, get your ass douche. No, are you like, kidding? It's gay. Gay culture is that now. It's so depressing. <laughs> like, Every gay guy looks like a quarterback and they're definitely like, get your ass douche. You're right. It exists. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. No, we got to look it up. Though. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Wait, I, I have one re- more other thing you're oh, just, that's important. Just about the enemas, I was just gonna say oh, like, they can reduce the risk. They can reduce the risk. Mm-hmm. Clean um, it this, but maybe cause other risks. I don't know. Clean it in a healthy way, like whatever, and, and have fun. Mm-hmm. Also, don't brush your teeth before, floss before I wrote that down or too. eat chips. <gasps> because you can cut have chips. micro abrasions <laughs> in your mouth. Hello, when you have a Miss Vicky and your mouth's cut open like glass. I know, but I'm just like the amount of times I've probably eaten chips in and the evening. Because <gasps> I usually brush my teeth before bed, so it's not like that often a risk that I'm like brushing it right before. And like, there are people who might brush their teeth because they think they should clean before they oh, do. Oh, yeah. Or you'd be like, I think I should brush my teeth before I kiss someone. Yeah. Fuck, I've definitely brushed my teeth before I ate ass. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right? Well, <laughs> Maybe you. <laughs> so now, now when I'm like, you see that stinky breath all in your face? Oh, great. That's safety because I'm going to eat your that? ass. <laughs> oh, God. Ew, that oh going back to God. sexual body parts, it's not a body part. Bad, bad breath. breath. Bad breath. Bad. bad. <laughs> There's a reason it's called bad breath, not good breath, honey. Yeah. <laughs> and it's bacteria related, too. Okay. So also, this is for me. Some people who have strep throat or have a species of strep. I think I got all of them. Um, there's some asymptomatic strep throats that if you eat someone's ass, you can give them the strep through their ass and make them sick. <laughs> and then I was like, whoop. So hopefully no one's got sick after I ate their ass. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, what? Yeah. Explain that again. You can give it through their ass? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So like you know, your mouth on their <laughs> ass can give them strep It's like very rare. <laughs> and it's like case studies. Were from... you eating ass with strep throat? <laughs> well, that's the thing. There's some asymptomatic oh, strep bacteria. Actually, yeah. And, and strep. And it, they also say if you get strep a lot it's like probably lives on your tonsils yeah and like it's probably always there strep like when people say strep they're saying the beginning Strap of a biological word that then goes on and usually has another word it's like this one was like streptococcolutilis lifericus right but then you can also have so strep throat variations. and you'd have streptococcolivididis regenididis because right. this is like there's so many freaking bacteria <clears> on this planet <throat> so anyways strep is like an umbrella term there's a certain type okay. that like likely i don't have (laughs) and likely lots of people who have strep all the time don't have that they think based on these case studies was able to go from the mouth asymptomatic throat into the eating of the ass and then the person now had it in their body and they got sick like gastrointestinal Uh, sickness wow okay pretty wild there that's though. wild yeah that's anyways. absolutely wild so, also if you have strep don't eat ass also go to bed and like get some antibiotics <laughs> yeah exactly. and like drink lots of water <laughs> i mean i feel good that it has been another 20 minutes and we mostly t- we, it was like 20 minutes of great chat yeah 20 minutes of the risks. and then the christianity kicked in and we did 20 minutes of risks <laughs> imagine you looked at you're like when you eat ass it goes up two hundred and fifty thousand percent of cancer and it's like <laughs> sponsored by the christian boys oh of boy scouts God. of america yeah like that's thing you have to be careful about sometimes in your research. Yeah, imagine like it was like that it was like from, from the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> but Vatican I think ultimately, <laughs> like if you take precautions, it's not that dangerous. Like, yeah, I, oh, sorry, I can't say about the absolute risk. Obviously, I'm not like quoting a study right now, but obviously we are like in the gay community and know a lot of yeah. gay people who are oh like. My God. However, 
some of the things like HPV could have long term impacts. And so I guess yeah. that's difficult to measure. Like maybe all of our gay friends are going to get throat cancer. But that's all. No, <laughs> stop. Oh my Including God. Us. I mean, if like, we all start going down really early with throat cancer, then I'd be like, you know what? You need to delete this episode from the ether. It was the eating ass all along. <laughs> and maybe you should stop. <laughs> but that's not going to happen. That's fear based. And it's a beautiful, like, <laughs> here me, I'm trying to do the other side. <laughs> and it's a beautiful th- way to please yourself, your partner. Guys, like, if you haven't had your ass Consensual. eaten consensually, like, it's just a really great time while you're on this thine earth. Like, at least try it. I think at least try it. Cleanly. Especially if you're with, I mean, yeah. it's one thing to do it with, like, a hookup. But if you're with someone you trust and, like, you're clean yeah. and you're willing to explore. <laughs> like, I don't know. All the straight guys we know are, like, really into it. Yeah. That, they're that are really willing to, it. like, admit yeah. it. Yeah. The other ones that aren't, you're just like, okay, well, you're just, like. It's probably really exciting for them because unlike us, we like get our ass ate all the time. I just have a feeling there's like not a can if there's straight guys listening to this. Can you message? (laughs) Oh my god! Can you message us, please? Like if you're straight, if you made it to 40 minutes in of our eating ass podcast, and you're a straight, and you're straight, I want to know you. Like, can we send you a survey, like an (laughs) Esquire survey? Like, I want to know. And so I just like I want to like understand who you are, and that's like a really interesting. thing. I want to eat your ass. I'm so (laughs) curious. I don't know how. Many straight men listen. To I know, podcasts. and I also don't know how many. This is true. There's like obviously some. But oh no, I think like, I think I hope lots of. Do. But then I, I wonder which ones made it this far in this. Yeah, and this, this one is what I'm. Is what I agree with. But what I think is interesting, I'm like, I think there's so many straight guys who get their ass ate, and it's like a cute thing that they don't tell the public. That's true. And I'm yeah. like, that's interesting to me too. Like, if you're one of those, please reach out. I'm so curious yeah. about that. Yeah, I want to know your relationship. Bragging about how it. hot it is. Yeah, because I think like some guys are just private, and they yeah. would be like, "Yeah, I'd let my girlfriend." They're not going to run around telling everyone. Yeah, one thing I'm not is private. <laughs> <laughs> like that's so interesting. Some people like I talk, and they're like, "Ew, I don't want to know that." And I'm like, right. "Oh, I didn't know everyone didn't just say that." <laughs> it's true. You are like that. I'm literally the opposite. Like, yeah, there are things that I'd be like, I don't. And this obviously podcast like <laughs> treads that line of <laughs> having I mean, to be like, what am I not going to say right now? Like. I'm not an open book. Yeah, yeah. Until I like really feel no, but you are in some ways too because you're really confident. You are an open sure, book with the but things that you. There like are obviously are. like taboos to me, and I did grow up in a Catholic family, yeah. so that might be partial. Yeah. Part I'm, of the I'm a Christian though. There's Jesus. There was Jesus at Christmas. All I'm saying is like you always like to blame my religion for my. Sorry, Christmas. I don't know. Everyone who's Catholic always just like sometimes things happen. They go Catholic and they all look at each other and they're like, yeah, and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, and it that? might be. I wasn't like from like a yeah. super religious family. Yeah, though. you also fall on it sometimes too. That's why I say it comfortably. I hope I'm not offending you. What? Like, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, it's your Catholic upbringing. Cause I feel like I've heard you go, it's my Catholic upbringing. Okay? No, I only, I only <laughs> say that cause you say it. <laughs> what? I'm not lying. So you... I'm just Catholic shaming you and you, yeah. no, you Mitch. I, I'm not. Mitch <laughs> Ryan Moffat. No. Okay. We have to go. I don't no, want to hear these don't. lies. <laughs> this is lies into a microphone. <laughs> lies into a microphone. Okay. We'll talk about it off the pod. <laughs> Okay, but okay, the last thing I want to say is that yeah. recently we found out in therapy and I brought this up with my friend recently because he was talking about starting to make out with someone okay. and how I found out that not every, like I literally thought everyone did this because I've never not done it. And I'm like, you just go like, oh, do you want to make out? Like, cause he was like in a situation where he was like, they were touching and watching a movie and he didn't know how to, he was like, oh, I didn't know how to cross it. I was like, oh, you just say, do you want to make out? And I was like, I've never not said that. To a person. To a person I made out with. I thought everyone asked oh, that question. I usually ask. Okay, right? Because I mean, I've made out with you a lot, and I, but I've made out with lots of people. I'm like, I realize now I have never not, like whatever the situation was, right, gone, that- like, do you want to make out? Like, and said that sentence. And then he was like, I was thinking of saying that. I just thought it was weird. And I was like, weird? I thought that was all we did. <laughs> so what is, so do you, like, you do say, do you want to make do, out? Yeah, what do But have you ever just started, like, touch and then just like, in like the awkward, like watching a movie, just like kissed. Like, like I guess that might have. I'm mean, obviously that's probably happened with us. Like there's a certain stage. It's like it's like the first time you're gonna kiss someone. You mean? Um, like I think if you're with, someone, yeah, you're right. Like, okay, you context dependent. You're right. You're right. Other. You're right. First time. First yeah, time. First that's or a handful of times. Like that yeah. first breaking of like. Yeah. It, it. I think it also probably not everyone does it. It probably a is people who are <laughs> a good at consent or a little more nervous, like, like I, wanting to make sure I, that the other person for I, sure wants that. I literally was like, Greg, like. <laughs> Some people do just kiss. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I never. It's I like just body didn't think about that. Like I honestly didn't think. 
I was you know even what? possible this to happen. This is a lesson in consent because it is, that's the problem is a lot of people try to just simply read body language and will not ask or will not say. That's why like a lot of men are like, I thought I was getting vibes from her and then yeah. I just tried to kiss her. But if he no. was like, do you want to make out? And do she was like, out? no, then there'd be no, never an excuse to like. <laughs> Literally just randomly, I was into consent my whole life. <laughs> Just randomly. No, like actually, <laughs> that's so interesting. Okay, then this is my actual recommendation to everyone about sex. It is like, it works. <laughs> okay, first of all, yeah. I haven't had it many. Works. It's like, if you're at the point where you're you're thinking, oh my God, I have to kiss this person or this is so awkward. I can't focus on the movie because I want to kiss them. You're obviously have enough flow in mm. to be like, do you want to make out? And like they're going to say yes. Well, if it's, if not it's, necessarily. Sorry. Okay, that's right? true. That's true. Because but if also the vibes, some people are not good okay, at picking yeah. up a vibe. Whoa, 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 whoa,